blood that Jesus shed. Way back on Calvary, it's still effective today as it was back then. It doesn't lose its power. God is an everlasting God. The advertisement speaks about the little ever ready battery in the bunny. Just keeps right on going. But this blood, church, it has reached the shores of America. From way across the Middle East, and it is still effective when it comes to cleansing the hearts and souls of man, the blood that he shed on Calvary one day for you and I. Let us pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come with a heart full of praise and thanks today for your graciousness, your kindness, your love, your tender mercy, and for all things in Christ Jesus, the trials, the tribulations, sufferings, persecutions, the things that we must endure in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Father, we thank you for Jesus, who one day came that we might live and not die. His grace enabled us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Father, the blood that he shed on Calvary, it hasn't lost its power because it is of thee and you are a forever loving God. We pray, Father, that you will bless us as we come to this portion of the service. Feed us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we might have what is necessarily needed to be a help to others and then to make it into the kingdom of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for his sake. We do thank thee both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, Amen. Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To the ministers of the gospel, to the deacons that are assembled, to the congregation, we say good afternoon and may God bless you. Truly God is good and his mercy endureth to all generations. Amen. All generations. Even down to the generation of the day, God's truth is still marching on. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and then respect. It is first to God, then to leadership, then to one another. Thank God for the preaching and the teaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And God for the life of Solomon is showing his companion to beautiful people whom God fixed up with his word one day. Sent him into the world and they preached and taught the gospel that men, women, boys, and girls should live a life free from sin. What a blessing. We thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of your program today. First one says, be acquainted with God. Amen. If you don't know him, find out who he is and then become acquainted with him. Because you will never lose associating with God. Second says, when you gather together in the name of God, you desire to learn more about him. As Deacon Oka said, his mother told him years ago, don't go up to Washington, D.C. and get in trouble. Find you a good church and then stay there. 
And his testimony is that he found the church of God. And he is still in the church of God today. Amen. The third says a person who is not subject to God won't be subject to man. As we've been speaking about the marriage, the importance of marriage, and the different subjects and the questions and the thoughts. One thing is that a woman is to be subject unto her husband, not in just what she wishes, but in everything. The key fact is to be subject unto God. And when you are in tune with God, then everything else will fall in line. But if a person won't be subject to God, they will not be subject to man. Everything will be why, what's the purpose, why can't I, I don't believe that. But one thing is of a certainty, God's got the key to heaven. And if you expect to make it into God's kingdom, as Brother Anthony says, you got to do God's will. So we thank God indeed for these sparks. And on the back, the program said, as we give thanks to those who died for the freedom of our country, let us not forget the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who died that we might have the freedom from sin, Freedom from flesh and the freedom from the devil. Amen? Amen. Now that's freedom. You want to be free from something? Be free from flesh, sin, and the devil. Because all of the adversities in life today come because of the devil. So we thank God for being independent today, free from sin, and being kept by the power of God, which is unto salvation to all that believe. We thank God for each and every one of you pressing your way out today. We thank God for the songs of Zion and the testimonies that have gone on. And we thank God, I too thank God, for the preached word of God. Without the preaching of the gospel, church, you won't have any salvation because God has fixed it so that the message comes through the preacher. Amen. The preacher then must be in tune with the Holy Spirit. These three are one, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And without the Holy Ghost, you can't get to God, because in order to get to God, you got to come through Christ. And he says, I will not leave you comfortless, but I will send unto you the Comforter, which will lead God and direct you into, watch this, all truth. So we thank God indeed for each and every one of you pressing your way out tonight, <clears throat> today, excuse me. Thank God for saving me one day and for giving me the mind, the desire, and the determination to press. It is truly a pressing way. Thank God for the power of God in my life, the Holy Ghost. It's essential. Because you cannot get to know God without the Spirit of God in your life. If any man have not the Spirit of God, he is none of his. God don't know you. I was reading the scripture the other day.